COVID-19 is an acute viral illness that usually lasts from a few days to a few weeks, characterized by fever, loss of taste and smell, cough and breathlessness. Other symptoms might include chest pain, headache, joint pains, diarrhea and fatigue. When severe, it can cause respiratory failure requiring hospital admission for respiratory support with oxygen and sometimes the need for ventilation in intensive care. Critically ill patients may develop other problems, including thrombosis, kidney failure, superadded bacterial infection, sepsis and multi-organ failure. In most patients, symptoms will resolve after a few days or weeks. Long COVID is defined as the persistence of symptoms beyond 12 weeks. The symptoms may be those of acute COVID, but may also include problems with memory and concentration, sometimes referred to as brain fog, insomnia, heart palpitations, dizziness, pins and needles, depression, anxiety, rashes, tinnitus, earache, nausea, diarrhea, loss of appetite and stomach pains. Long COVID may occur in people who suffered a severe acute illness or who are hospitalized, who need a long time to recover from the severe effects of their illness. But more commonly, it occurs in people who may have had relatively mild or even no symptoms when they caught the virus, but who later developed symptoms of long COVID. Most patients with acute COVID-19 infection will survive. In the UK, the overall case fatality rate is 1.9%. That is just under two deaths for every 100 confirmed cases of COVID. But within this figure, some groups of people are at much higher risk of death. 80% of deaths occur in people aged over 65, and more than 95% in people over 45 years. The risk increases sharply with age. Other risk factors include chronic lung disease, diabetes, cancer, obesity, heart conditions, kidney conditions, liver conditions, dementia, immunodeficiency, HIV infection, neurological conditions, including stroke, smoking, transplant recipients and those with certain blood disorders such as sickle cell anemia. Almost all deaths occur after an acute COVID infection. Some severely ill patients who partially recover may sadly die months later from the consequences of their illness. Broadly speaking, most patients with long COVID who are not acutely unwell with acute COVID, but who later develop the symptoms of long COVID would not be considered at risk of dying. COVID vaccines significantly reduce severity of infection, hospitalizations, and death. They also very significantly reduce the chance of getting infected in the first place. By reducing the numbers of severely ill patients with COVID, there will be fewer people with long-term effects related to the severity of their disease. Also, if fewer people are infected with COVID, there will be fewer people at risk of developing long COVID. There's also emerging evidence that vaccination reduces the risk of long COVID if you are unlucky enough to be infected after vaccination. In acute COVID infection, the usual cause for seeking acute medical attention is breathlessness with low oxygen levels. Other symptoms rarely necessitate urgent treatment. It would be highly unusual for patients with long COVID to seek urgent medical help as their symptoms are not life-threatening. We believe that the majority of patients with long COVID will make a full recovery in time. How long depends on many factors and everyone is different, but we're seeing many people get better. Doctors still have much to learn about long COVID, but as time goes on, our knowledge is increasing. Treatment will depend on which part of the body is most affected, but many hospitals have now set up multidisciplinary COVID clinics to review patients with chronic symptoms. The multidisciplinary team approach with different specialists from medicine, physiotherapy, dietitians, and psychology all contributing is likely to provide most benefits to sufferers with long COVID. Broadly, we would advise to take things slowly and gradually build up over time without putting too much pressure or expectation on yourself. This approach has worked well with similar illnesses in the past.